Hey, this is Kyle with Aviant Works. I'm bringing you part two of how to do level streaming um, using the Unreal Engine. So, um, in my first video, what I showed you is how to do simple level streaming via Kismet. Um, it's very basic. Um, you were step on one piece, and um, it'll then start streaming another level or showing it, making it visible. And then you step on another piece, it'll make the other one unvisible. Unvisible. Sorry, unloaded, and it'll make it unseen. So what I have right now is I have a level that I had made in the past that and how I fixed this problem. So I'm gonna have this elevator right here um, which is part of the first level where I'm gonna start off and then what it's gonna do is after I press this button right here it's gonna then bring this down. After it goes down it's gonna come up on um, where this is. It's gonna stop on its exact direction or sorry exact direction exact point and then you'll walk out and then you'll hit this um, this trigger right here and it's going to play the sound of those doors closing and it's going um, to dump the level after I step on this as well. So with all that being said what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here first. Alright so we have that and now here's going to be the kismet sequences that I got going on for it. So for level A um, after you hit that um, the little uh, switch inside the um oh sorry inside the el for the first elevator it's going to then play these two things it's going to a it's going to move down the light and the um elevator ignore these doors right here i sort of de deleted those that way um you guys can see me moving down as as an example and then you have after 6 seconds it'll start streaming elevator b and ignore all this stuff um basically what we have here is we have once level b is loaded it's going to then um hide the doors and it's gonna also hide the elevator um, that's what this is gonna do for you it's a visibility track um, I'll show you how to make one of those very sim very quick very simple um, but yeah once the levels loaded it's gonna make the visibility um, hidden and then what you're going to want to do is um, you're also going to be changing the collisions as well um, all the collisions are gonna be set to off and then when you hit that trigger, it's going to A, unload that one piece. It's going to close the doors. Um, it's going to change the collisions. And it's going to, of course, play the sounds for the doors. So currently, all their collisions are turned off. But once you step on this, it's then going to turn it on. So um, that's how it's all going to work. So let's just see this really quick. Ah. Alright, so we have this. We're going to press the button and we're going to go down. <clears throat> Alright, so then I'm going to come in here. And as you see, there's nothing here. You know, everything's good. And then right once I step on that, it actually dumps the level. Um, it was actually noticeable because these doors are actually here and they're not there in my previous coming down. But um, if you didn't notice, it didn't even look like it changed the level other than that except for noticing that those doors weren't there so um i'm gonna bring you now on um, the second half of this video showing you exactly how to set that up okay now for part b <clears throat> sorry excuse me for part b of this i set up um, a simple little level we have um the persistent level which is just that little block right here we have um level one which is right here um which consists of this light this block um, this elevator and this trigger and then you have level 2 which consists of this light block trigger and elevator so currently what we have going on here is we want this elevator right here to go down into here but then once you dump this level you don't want it to disappear so what you're going to do is you're going to actually duplicate this make a copy of this and drag it straight down um, to wherever you want because naturally an elevator will go down um, and make sure both of these are interp actors. Now this guy right here is part of level 2, not part of level 1. So um, it's going to be actually different. With this level 2, you're going to set its collisions to collide underscore no collisions. Um, now what we're going to do is, we're going to have the player spawn right here. You're going to step on this trigger and you're, this guy's going to go down. It's going to go down to exactly where this point is. 
and then when you step on this trigger right here, it's going to then dump that level up there. All right, so currently these Kismet sequences I have set up are for the persistent level. We have the loaded level stream visible for level one. When we just have the touch, um, right once you touch that, it'll start streaming um, level B, or sorry, level two. Um, it, that's going to take 2.5 seconds, though, after you touch that. And then level two, once you touch that um, trigger, it's going to then dump level one. So, <clears throat> what we're first going to want to do is we want to make it so that that goes down to there, that elevator mesh. So first off, make sure that you have level one selected. Click on your elevator mesh. Sorry, <laughs> open Kismet, not UDK um, content browser. And then we're going to make a mat new matinee sequence. Double click that. And we're just going to call this elevator underscore down. Doesn't really matter what you name it. And then you're going to right click that and you're going to add a movement track. Now I want this track just to run um, five seconds. So hit enter while with the movement track selected. Make sure you still have that point selected. I'm going to minimize these two screens. And we're going to bring that bad boy right down there. Just try and line it up as best as possible. I recommend working in 8 or 16 of the drag grid at least. Makes it a lot easier. It's going to be exact. You want it to exact, or usually this won't work unless the player's looking out for it. Um, so you have that. And now let's look at that um, come to play. And about maybe at that mark right there, it's going to start streaming this. So now you're going to think, well, hey, didn't we just go through, um, okay, see how it does that? We don't want that to happen. So we're going to need to do two things. First off, um, let me go do a run through really quick, showing you um, the actual in-game example. So we step on that, we're going to go down. And we just got hit with the ceiling of an elevator, but didn't feel it. So we're going to really want to fix that up. Oh, and also after I did that, you fell through it. The collisions are off. So we're going to need to do a couple things. Um, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the collisions of that mesh um, down here in level 2. So first off, go to levels. Make sure you have level 2 selected. And hit that interp actor. Then we're going to open up our Kismets, go into level two, and you want to go to going to want to go to new action, new action actor, and then change collision. Its collision is going to be, of course, the target. So right click on target, and then hit the new object variable using interp actor underscore one or whatever it is that you're using. And we're going to have it so that um, once you touch that, no, sorry. Um, all right, we're sorry. We're gonna make a new event, and we're gonna do level loaded. And once the level's loaded, we're gonna change the collisions. But if you notice, what's gonna happen is once the level's loaded, it's then gonna push you up. So we don't want that. Then it actually didn't do it because I didn't even set this up right yet. Um, you kind of want it to set it, set it up to um, set this to block all. I'm, I apologize for that. Um, you're going to need to set that collision type to block all. But, um, actually, sorry, I'm taking about this all the wrong way. Um, once you touch this trigger, it's then going to actually change the collisions because what we're going to do is, after you touch this, it's going to dump this level, yes. So then it's also going to add change the collisions to block all. So, with all that being said and done, We can still go through it. We're gonna step on that. And now though you walk on it. And it's now there. So we've got that part of the illusion down. Now, here comes the second piece. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to set up a matinee sequence that's gonna change its visibility. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another matinee sequence. Um, once again, make sure you have that interp oh, that's not even the right interp actor. Make sure you have this interp actor, <laughs> part of level two, selected. Go on your Kismet, double click matinee. Gonna make a empty folder, we're gonna call it elevator 
visible. All right, and then we're going to right click on that and we're gonna make a new visibility track. Now, first off, what we're gonna do is bring this little guy right here, bring it down as much as possible without it ever hitting zero. There, 10 milliseconds, 0.10 millis, zero 10 milliseconds. It's perfect. All right, so in that time, I'm quite sure the human eye can't perceive it, but I mean, you can have it happen immediately or whatever. I just sort of throw it out there. You're gonna wanna hit enter and you have show, hide, or toggle. You're going to want to toggle it. All right, so you're going to have the toggle up there. So now it's time to be toggling the visibility. So once you touch that, oh, so actually what we're going to want to do is now, once the level's loaded, sorry, that's what it was for. So once the level's loaded and visible, it's going to actually toggle the visibility and to turn it off. And then what we're going to do is once we touch that, it's going to, Punch this trigger right here, it's gonna toggle it back on. So, without further ado, we're going to go in. We're gonna try this out. Look at that. Did not come through me. Lovely. And now it's streaming and it's there. Now, did anyone notice that? I didn't notice. It did not look like we transitioned between level A and level B. So again, it does get a little bit dark, but just because I didn't modify any lighting. So, currently it's still there. You did notice it for that quick second, but I mean, it's not going to be anything too great of noticeable. Um, if you were to just make it instant, you know, it'll work out. I didn't make it instant. That's my fault. But anyway, so that's going to be how you're going to do it. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you have any other suggestions for any videos or anything you want to see, um, feel free to post it up. Alright, thanks for watching.